Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Allie. Today we're going to cook a country rigatoni. Um, I like to make pastas once in a while without a tomato sauce or without cream. So this pasta dish is going to have that type of sauce made to it. Um, anything made with olive oil, lemon juice, and, and you know, this one might have a little bit of butter, but Anything, again, made without the cream and the typical marinara is nice and, and, and is usually a little bit lighter. And, you know, again, this is going to be one of those one-pot meals, um, which is great. All you have to do is boil your pasta. I, I purchased a little bit on the smaller rigatoni because I want us to eat, be able to eat the vegetables. So we have some, you know, freshly made sausage here. And we have a little bacon and... and Instead of prosciutto, you can add prosciutto if you wanted. You could add the bacon. It's up to you. A little, we're going to add a little bit of butter to it. We have some broccoli, some cannonelli beans, some basil, some parsley, a little bit of onion. So first to start this off, you know, we boiled the pasta. I chilled it down and um, uh, rubbed it with olive oil. We're going to basically, we're going to blanch off some broccoli. And blanching is just to pre-cook it a little bit so that it doesn't turn brown and it cooks evenly and consistently. So we're just going to take a little bit of broccoli here. Okay, just cut off the hip tops. You can always take the stems and eat those also. Um, I like to make sure that they're all about the same size. If you like broccoli to be a little bit bigger, it's fine. But I want to make sure that we balance the meal so the sausages are on the same size as, every, as the rigatoni. So, again, blanching. Again, it's to boil some hot water. We're going to add a little bit of salt to it. Okay. Just to season... Um, broccoli okay and I have a bowl of ice cold water and what that does it stops the cooking process um, again um, I like things to be consistent I don't steam vegetables as I said before in, in prior videos because you know the, the chlorophyll especially green vegetables because the chlorophyll runs in comes out and I like to keep my vitamin nutrients and I like to make sure that I'm cooking it consistently steaming it's blinding you know you don't get to see um, when it's really done is just an estimated time. Okay, so the water is boiling already. Um, you don't really need to um, cook it that long; it's just a few seconds. You know, especially since it's this small. Just drop it, stir it around real quick. Okay, and again, I like my broccoli al dente. But look at that, right there, nice and green. Beautiful. Just scoop it out, stir it in. And you're done. So you're done with your water. You move that out. Put your frying pan up there. And now we're going to move, remove the broccoli off because you don't get the water out of it. Put it on top of the dish towel or tissue if you like. And put it on the cutting board. It should be fine. Okay. And this dish is, again, it's very simple to make. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to heat up the frying pan a little bit. We're going to add a little bit of olive oil to it. Okay. Let me get it nice and cooked. Now, typically, if I didn't cook my bacon ahead of time, I'm going to cook the bacon. You're not going to use the olive oil. I cook my bacon ahead of time. I diced it up and pan fried it. I'm going to take some of the sausage here. It's beautiful sausage. Real Italian sausage. Now, typically, when you make this dish or... Um, a lot of people just like to pre-cook the sausage and slice it up or slice it up. What I want to do to make this dish, because I like to have it more, you know, abstract here. So, we're going to take the sausage out of the casing, okay? And all we're going to do is just kind of chunk it out. You can make them smaller chunks if you want. depends on the size you want to eat it. Two sausages is enough for this. Again, it depends on the size of family or how many people you're making the dish for. I'm going to throw my sausage casing away. Um, if you like more sausage in your dish, you can add a little bit more. It's up to you. I think that's plenty right there, about one and a half pieces. Okay. Turn up this dish a little bit here. And we're going to stir it. We're going to let it sear a little bit. Okay. Let this thing cook a little bit. I got that Italian sauce to a nice Italian market. While that's being cooked, I'm going to take my onion. I want a little bit of onion. You don't have to put on any onion if you don't like onion. Um, and then I'm going to take a few pieces of garlic. Okay, a couple of teaspoons. Now you can dice it and mince it really fine if you like. I like garlic. I like to taste it in my meals. So I slice it really thin. 
because I want to feel that roasted flavor in it without it burning. So while the sausage is cooking, I'm going to add my onions to it real quick. I mean my garlic, I'm sorry. And then while that's doing that, I'm going to drill in my onions. Okay, I told you this is a really, really easy dish, so I'm going to make sure this is stirring here. Now you want this to kind of stick to the frying pan a little bit. Okay, I'm not adding too much oil. I'm letting my garlic as it's pan frying. All that stuff, I'll explain how it's going to come off later on. Okay. You smell that. Now I want my onions to cook a little bit longer. You, you, can, you don't have to add them right away. I like mine to cook and slightly caramelize. I like the, I like the sugar to come out of the onions. that's cooking I can add my bacon now if you have prosciutto um, you're gonna add that at the end you're not gonna add it the time at the time that you add your bacon now if you want a little bit more bacon in there you can add it while this is cooking you're gonna take your cannonelli beans you can cook them ahead of time if they're dry I have some canned ones here that I bought from the Italian market and I'm going to drain the juice out of them. Well, that's draining right there. Just cooking down. I'm going to slightly deglaze it. Let the sausage finish off braising. Again, if you don't know what deglazing is, that's to remove all the sediment, all your flavor of the sausage that's stuck to the frying pan or any of that garlic that's in there. See? All of it comes right off. And that's just gold. That's just flavor. That's pure flavor. You want that actually. That's why I like searing my food first because I want that to hit the frying pan. When, when that happens, I'm going to add some chicken broth. I can add a little bit now. I'm gonna, I can replenish later on with a little bit more. Turn up my heat a little higher. And I'm going to add a little bit of the beans. Now again, if you want a little bit more of the beans in there, you can add more. You'll have the recipe on the website later on as you go through the video after the video, we'll have it on there. Now again, Italians aren't, they don't chop a lot. They like to just tear. So you can tear a little bit of the parsley. It doesn't hurt to have a little bit of the stem in there. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of the parsley in there. That's happening. If you want to make it a little spicy, it's up to you. You can add a little bit of crushed chili flakes. I like to have a little spice into it. And then, as that's cooking, you know, you can see that the sausage is braising in there and it'll cook in no time. If it's taking too long for you, you can cut it in half a little bit there. And again, you're not getting a very heavy tomato sauce into your pasta, and this is nice and light. Mm. It's, and it smells your house up really good. Just take a look at that. Okay, And then you can just lightly season it with a pinch of salt. You don't need to add a lot. Just a little bit, just slightly dust it. And then I'm going to add some cracked black pepper to it. I like lots of pepper in mine. Again, just let the sausage braise in there. All the flavor of the sausage is going to run into your sauce. So that's why I add the chicken broth. So it, it adds to it and it reduces down and becomes kind of like a gravy in there. And then the, the, the flavor of the bacon, you got the flavor of the sausage in there and all the sausage spices, the onions, the garlic sauteed in there. I mean, you can't get more flavor than that. Okay. And that's pretty much almost done. That sausage is pretty much cooked right away. Um, the only other things that we need to add, we're going to add some of the um, rigatoni here so that cooks right into there so nice and hot and again you don't have to make this the main dish all about the pasta you can have all the other ingredients in there it depends on how much pasta you want I'm not putting that much in there and if your sauce runs down a little bit too low 
You can always add a little bit more chicken broth. It's up to you. If you want to re-season it after you tasted it, add a little pinch more salt. You can add some salt because it's pasta. Depending if you put how much salt you put in your pasta, if you put any at all when you were cooking the water. Oh, that water, if you put some salt in there, then you probably don't need that much salt in your pasta because it's probably re-seasoned already. So while this is cooking, it's heating up, I'm going to add my blanched broccoli. And then last of all, we have some fresh basil. We're going to pull the leaves off the stem here. Depending on how much parsley you'd like to have in there. I mean, basil you'd like to have in there. And just, just lightly chop it. You don't have to get it really, really fine. Julianne chop here. I want to taste the basil. All right. Making sure everything's nice and hot in there. Finally cooked. You can see there's still a lot of the juice in there. And what you're going to do now is you're going to bind that juice. And what's going to help you bind it? Follow the pan. See how fast this dish cooked? It took very, very little time. And it's fresh, it's healthy, it's light. Except for the last piece. I like to say healthy here, huh? But a little bit of butter. Okay? Take a little bit of butter. This is going to help loosen that sauce up and enrich in it. I'm not adding that much butter. Just a couple of tablespoons. If you want a little bit more rich, add more butter. And just stir it until the butter binds and melts. Now... You can top the top of the pasta when you're done with it. Okay, look how nice that is. You top the top of that pasta with some Parmesan cheese. But I want to make sure it gets blended in. So I want cheese twice on this. That's one time. I'm going to turn off this hot. And we're ready to plate up. So as we're plating, I still want to add a little more cheese, but I also want the cheese to get in there with the butter and the rest of the broth. Oh wow. Look how creamy that becomes. And it's not like you added any cream or anything else. It was just chicken broth, a little bit of white wine, and just a pinch of butter. You see how nice and fresh that becomes. Look at that sausage. Perfectly cooked. It didn't take a long time. The only time it took was for you just to boil that pasta. A little bit of prep. You didn't really go out of our way to prep anything. Especially if you had prosciutto, you wouldn't have to cook the bacon. You just add the prosciutto at the end. Oh, look how delicious that looks. And then I want to add a little bit more of the... Actually, this is Romano cheese. You can add Parmesan. Look at that. Beautiful dish. It's very, very savory. You can smell that. Look at that dish right there. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, where's my fork at? Okay, let's get a nice little taste of this. And the sausage. Mmm. Parsley. Mmm. Oh, it's light. You don't feel overwhelmed when you're done eating a bowl of this. You're going to actually want some more. And sometimes you eat pasta dishes and they're so heavy you can't eat another bite. This is not that pasta. Very delicious. Thank you. Thank you.